Hey there YouTube, this is Jason back in Great American Pinball and today I got another how-to for you. So a question that a lot of new pinball players have is, what's the maintenance like on my pinball machine? And while you should be doing things like cleaning the play field every so often, maybe replacing the balls when need be, uh, one of the big maintenance things that's really easy to do is simply updating your game code. Now I have right next to me here a Deadpool Pro and I know this one is not completely up to date. So I'm going to show you guys how to download some game code and then update your own pinball machine. So let's jump right in. So the first thing you want to do when you're updating your game code, of course, is just check what version you're at already. So the easiest way to do that if your machine is off, simply turn it on and look at the first screen that comes on. Simply reach on over, turn it on, and then the first screen that pops up is going to tell you what code you're at already. And now, the game will take a second just to boot up. It shows you Stern's logo. And the first thing you're going to see is just a little graphic. It tells you what code you're at already. And I'll point to it. It's going to be right here on the right. Okay, so you see right here. It runs by real fast, but I saw it says V1.00. So that means version 1.0. And I know Stern has a newer version out. Now, if your machine is already on, a really easy way to check it, if you didn't catch it, is you go into the menu, so you hit the black button down here, and you can see right here, V, V1.00. So this is version 1.0 code, I need to update it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a USB flash drive that I can use on my PC. As luck turns out, I happen to have one right here. Let's jump on over to the computer and I'll show you guys how to get your new game code. All right, so I'm on my computer right now. I'm going to go open up my Firefox. That's my web browser. Could be uh, Chrome, could be Internet Explorer, Internet Edge. Uh, but you've got to open up your browser and head over to sternpinball.com. All right, so this is uh, Stern Pinball's uh, main page. You go over to the right where it says Support. Click on Game Code. That's going to bring you to the page with game code for all of their games. Basically, it's listed uh, with the most recent update listed first. So you can go through and search if you'd like. The easiest way to do that if you're looking for a specific game is just go over here in the search and type in what you are looking for. So I'm looking for a Deadpool. The first thing that's going to come up is the most recent, which is LE. Then I go down to Premium. Then I go down to Pro. And you can take out the uh, README, which is just a um, usually a PDF, and it tells you about updates to the game. But I'm looking here for the game code. So I'm going to go ahead and click it. Make sure you get the right code for the game that you have. If you have an LE, make sure you download the LE. If you have a premium, make sure you download the premium. Because I'm updating a pro, I need to make sure it's a pro. It's 1.02.0. I'm going to download that. I'm going to save my file. And I already have a jump drive in my computer right now. It's a, a little travel drive. So I'm going to actually uh, download it straight to that. I hit save. And now my file is downloading. I can see here in the corner, if I want to look at the progress, it's going to take a little while to download because these files are rather large. You see here it's 2.2 gigabits. So I got about three minutes left. Let me head back to you guys uh, when this is done downloading. All right, guys, so you can see I just finished up the download. Uh, it says here Deadpool Pro 1 underscore 02 underscore 0. I'm going to open that up. Okay, and it opens up uh, an archive file for me. This is basically just a zip, so your uh, Windows or Apple computer should be able to do this no problem. I'm going to go ahead and hold down control and click both files. And you can let go of control and just drag it on over into the actual jump drive. Really all you need to do is extract the zip onto the drive. So this also will take a few moments. All right, so it looks like I've got both of the files here on the jump drive. I can close out of the archive. If you do not have enough room on your jump drive, you can download the zip file to like your desktop. 
and then just extract it onto the drive. Um, I'm using a 16 gigabit card, or I'm using a 16 gigabit jump drive, so I have plenty of room. But you can see here my free space is still only about 10. So that means it used about 5 gigs total. So that's why you want to make sure you have at least an 8 gigabit drive that you can use. So I'll go ahead and close this out. I can close out a Stearns window as well. And I will meet you guys back over at the Deadpool Pro. Okay, so I got my game code. I put it onto my thumb drive. Now I need to put it into the pinball machine. So the first thing you want to do, obviously, is turn the game off. You go ahead and turn it off, and you're going to need to get into the head. So we always store our keys on the inside of the uh, door here. I'm going to grab the key, unlock it here, and pull this down. And then you want to take your trans light out. So I'm just going to put this off to the side. And now with the trans light off to the side, everything is down. If you take a look at what's in the head here, it's basically just a little computer. And so on this computer, there are two USB drives. Now you can see here, it's basically just a computer. And it has two USB drives. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and insert my USB drive into the slot. All right. All right, so I've inserted my USB drive. My code is in the machine right now. I'm going to go ahead and pull the screen up so I can see what I'm doing and turn the machine on. So your machine will start up pretty much like normal, but it'll immediately take you into the menu. You can see here it says, um, insert memory stick. You see, it brings you directly to a menu so you can start updating your game. So all I'll do is open up the coin door. I'm gonna use the buttons for navigation and then the uh, black button will select. Okay, so I only had one, uh, I only had one code on this stick. It was only for Deadpool. So I just hit the black button and it progresses you to the next menu. You select your update options. Um, normally, we just don't even bother touching it. It's just a quick update. So we'll hit the black button one more time. Now you can see here it says it's preparing to unpack the files. Basically at this point, you can just walk away from it. It's going to take a couple of minutes to get all the update in, but uh, when you return to your machine, it should say update was a success. <clears throat> okay, so we're back and it looks like our update was a success. Um, there are some times where it might not be a success, it might fail. That's okay, retry it. Usually it's just some glitch or something and it'll fix itself. Uh, if it still doesn't want to go through, go ahead and take your game code USB drive out and then just try and re-extract your data back onto it. So head back over to your computer, you know, get the, the zip drive and put the data back onto it. Uh, it might just be a problem with how it was copied, but usually I find that if you just try it a second time, it usually works fine. Something else you can try is uh, there are two USB slots in a pinball machine. You can try the other one. Uh, sometimes one works, the other one might not all the time. It's a glitch. I don't know, but you should be able to update it. Uh, I'd say 99% of the time I'm updating a game, it works successfully. So in this case, it was successful. You see here it says... Um, Remove the USB memory stick and then power cycle. What that means basically is you take your stick out, you turn the game off, I'm going to close the door, and I'll turn it back on. Now without the USB stick, it should go directly into the normal gameplay. And so again, 
just watching the machine turn on, you can check and verify that the code is up to date. So I see here it does say V1.02. So it was updated. You might get another screen where it says updating node boards. That's perfectly normal. Don't worry about it. As soon as it's ready to go, your machine's going to go right back into normal gameplay. All right, so I verified that the code was, in fact, updated. I'm going to put my USB drive down, grab my translite, put it right back in. Good to mention. Drop the screen down first. It won't fit otherwise. There you go. And now you've just updated the code on your very own Stern pinball machine. If you have any other questions about how to update your code, go ahead. You can read the, uh, the README that you can download from Stern's website. Or feel free to reach out to us. Give us a call. Give us an email. We'll be happy to help you out. So hopefully this video helped you update the code on your own Stern pinball machine. Uh, check one of our upcoming videos. I'm going to go ahead and do our Houdini next. So for today's video, thank you guys for watching. If you could hit the like or subscribe, that'd be awesome. But I'll see you next time at Great American Pinball. Thanks.